Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to get started with Rapid Weaver 5 web development software. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is press F4 on your keyboard and find Rapid Weaver. And here it is here, this icon here in the bottom right hand corner. It may be in a different location on your actual laptop itself. Okay, so click, give that a click. And here we go, this is what starts up, we get started off with. It is uh, the startup screen. We've got three options here, and what we want to do is create a new Rapid Weaver project. So let's give that a click, and here is where we get started. So the first thing we want to do is actually set up our site. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is give our website a title. So depending on what you're going to be doing, give it that title. So mine's going to be all about a car garage. Just random. I'm going to do Charlton Autos. And I'm going to put high quality cars as my slogan. Okay. I'm going to put at the bottom as well the footer, Charlton Autos. And I could put some kind of email address. doesn't really matter for now what um, it is because it's not going to be linked up properly at school. So I'm just going to put Charlton Autos. So I'll put, so put info at Charlton Autos. Okay. okay, it's not real, but it's just add something extra to it. And then we can click OK. And that's it now. So we've our page actually set up. So the first thing we need to do now is to add a page. So click add page. And we want to obviously start off with the home page as our first page. So you get loads of different types of pages from a blog, contact form, and we've then got movie sections, photo albums. The one we want to use for now is the styled text, which is basically just text and images. So if we click that, click choose, and we then see that we've got our first page here, and I'm going to call it Home. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of text in here, just some, just some really short text, just for the purpose of this tutorial. So welcome to Charlton Autos. Uh, here you go. Best cars. Best. Yep. I've also actually got um, an image that I've already got from the internet. It's just a picture of a car. And the good thing about Rapid Weaver is you can just drag and drop your images in. So grab this image here, drag it in, and put it there. And if I think the image is a bit too big, I can just double click. On the image, and I can then make it a little bit smaller. Let's see. Really small, 80% will do, yeah. I could even maybe put a little bit of a shadow around it or a border. Entirely up to you. Choose the colour, or the different options, obviously, whatever I want to choose. Yeah, you get the idea. But I'm going I'm to go without a border, without a shadow. You may notice as well it's gone onto the same line because the pictures are bigger, so I'm just going to knock it back down again. And there we have it. Now, just to see how this is looking, okay, because obviously I've not done too much here already, I can switch this from edit mode onto preview mode. So, view, and there we go, we can see that we've got our basic page set up already, okay. So I'm going to show you how to edit and add a few more things in the next tutorial.